Is that a DKNY purse? I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to hit some really cool spots today, so I'm super excited about that. But if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my videos, leave me a like. It helps me out so, so much. And also leave a comment down below and let me know where you want to see me go next. Before we get into the video, I did want to thank today's sponsor, Cook Unity. As a lot of you guys already know, I dumpster dive a lot. And by the time I get home after driving all day, normally I have no energy or time to cook dinner. But this is where Cook Unity has been a complete game changer for me. Cook Unity is the first chef to consumer platform that delivers freshly prepared and pre selected meals straight to your door weekly. This means no more long trips to the grocery store or having to pick ingredients and follow recipes. Cook Unity has dozens of chefs offering a wide variety of cuisines. Your options really are endless with the selection of over 350 meals to choose from weekly, not to mention meals are updated weekly. You can browse the menu by protein, chef, cuisine, or dietary need, including vegetarian, pescatarian, and keto. You're sure to find the food you love. I'm currently heating it up, but tonight I'm eating fried coconut shrimp and garlic noodles. This was prepared by Chef Nahika Hillary from Austin, Texas. A few other meals I tried this week were the shrimp ceviche tostadas, grilled chicken fajita tacos, which were so good, and the barbecue pulled chicken. They were so delicious and packed with so much flavor. I love that Cook Unity fits my lifestyle by providing me with quick and easy meals without sacrificing the quality like I would if I did fast food or takeout. Not to mention with the huge variety of meals weekly it means I never have to eat the same meal twice, but I'll definitely be getting the coconut fried shrimp again. It was amazing. Cook Unity's roster of all-star chefs includes Food Network alums, James Beard award winners, and acclaimed restauranteurs. If you want to take the stress of cooking dinner out of your life without sacrificing quality or flavor, then go to cookunity.com glamour50 or click the link in my description and use code glamour50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out yourself. And thank you again to Cook Unity for sponsoring this video. I'm checking my bath and body works. They just threw a ton of trash away. There's this bag that kind of stuffed in here, but it looks like it's full of broken candles. I, it's so heavy. I'm gonna grab it out and let's open it up. Okay, I'm taking a look in the bag and there's like five or 10 broken candles in here. They can definitely be saved, pop them in a new glass, or you can even melt them down and make wax melts out of them. But there's so many here. And then there's also these little mini candles I found, two broken ones here. And as I'm going through this bag, there's one candle here and this one's not broken at all. I'm dumpster diving at Ulta now and there's a box here full of skincare and lotions. I opened it up and it's full of stuff. It doesn't look like they really destroyed anything either. And then right behind it, there's a box here and it looks like there might be some testers. So there's actually a ton of makeup in this little box here. It doesn't look like they destroyed anything. There's some palettes. Let me see if I can get this one open. There's another one, they didn't destroy it. I'm just gonna start grabbing this stuff out. I'm checking the other side now and there is another box full of makeup. It looks like there's a ton of MAC stuff in here, but again, doesn't look like they destroyed anything. I'm opening a few up really quick, but it looks like they're brand new. This is pretty insane. There's a huge box of these ordinary drops and they did destroy all of them. They dumped them all out so they're empty. That whole bottom is just all liquid. I did find a couple that they didn't destroy so I was able to save a few here. This was everything in the first box. There's a ton of these tree hut things, a lot of body care and skincare stuff. I know that one's really expensive. And then there's also these palettes I'm going to open and show you. And here are the palettes. I opened them up so you can see but they did not destroy anything. And the second box had a bunch of these MAC powders, and then there's also a bunch of lip glosses. I think there's some liquid foundations in here as well, but it's insane they didn't destroy anything today. Just so you can see what they look like opened up, a lot of them look like they're brand new. I'm checking my Five Below dumpster, and it is loaded with food and candy. There are bags full of stuff, like there's three bags here. And they're all cool, all kinds of different like snack foods and candies. And then there's another bag there. There might be another one under there. So I'm gonna pull out, check expiration dates. I don't know when this stuff expires. I'm checking a few and like the Takis did expire last month, which they just expired. So they're still fine. And then I think some of this is about to expire this month within the next week. 
but there's still there's that one there's still so much in here like this one just expired maybe like two weeks ago but so much food and this bag just has a ton of candies and chocolates it's like more snack food in here as well i'm checking my pet smart dumpster now and it looks like there might actually be some stuff i have to check the other side but i see a bunch of dog food and some boxes of stuff okay coming around on this side there's a ton of stuff in here so i see some fish stuff i actually have found this before they're pretty expensive there's also a light bulb this is a fence. I guess it's like an electronic fence. I think that's a doggy stare thing. And then there's a bunch of food and maybe some more random stuff. Doesn't look like they slashed all the food bags up. So I'm going to check expiration dates. I just noticed this electric dog fence retails for $240. That is so expensive. And there's a few more random things like this dog collar and then some cat toys in here as well. I'm checking my Burlington dumpster and it is loaded tonight. There's so much stuff. There's a bunch of like little skincare sets here on the side. All of this feels like it's full. And then there's a huge box. This is a DKNY purse. I don't see anything wrong with it, but there's so much in here. Everything is still in the box. I'm just gonna start grabbing this out before anyone comes. Another little purse here. So I just ripped this bag open and it's loaded with some more stuff. There's like curling irons or a curling iron. And then there's a ton of the stuff. I know this brand is super expensive. It's in Sephora and Ulta, but there's a ton of them in here. I'm just gonna grab this whole bag out, but I also found a super cute little backpack, a little Juicy Couture one. I don't see anything wrong with this one. Maybe the zipper's broken. And then over here, there's an Adidas bag. I think it's a gym bag. I don't see anything wrong with that one either. I'm double checking everything before I leave, but it looks like there's a few things back here. I think these are shirts. And then they did Sharpie that, but I don't think it's broken. It might have a crack in it. And there's a really cute picture frame, but they did Sharpie it. Okay, I'm back home now. Here's a quick overview of everything I found but there's a ton of these little BB shoes. There's a bunch of repeats of them. I don't see anything wrong with them. They look new to me. Some random stuff like a cute little blanket, some dog treats, and then there's a ton of bags. So this one is so cute. It's a Juicy Couture little backpack. This DKNY purse looks brand new. The tag does say, ha it says it has a broken zipper, but I did try it. Doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. There's also a little, I think that's a Betsy Johnson purse. It does have a few little scuff marks on it, but nothing that won't come out. And then there's a ton of like makeup, perfume, little curling iron, and then skincare stuff. So a couple of these philosophy, and I know those are expensive. They're like lotion sets, more skincare, more philosophy. And then there's also some here. I found a couple of perfumes. This one is the Ariana Grande perfume. It's definitely inside. It looks like the seal on it's broken, but it's really heavy. And then there's also a DKNY perfume or maybe a cologne. This one is sealed. It feels heavy, so I'm assuming it's brand new. And then some nail polish stuff. And here's the rest of it. I almost forgot to show a few things. There's some more skincare stuff, some men's shirts, the Adidas bag, and then a really nice pack of velvet hangers. So overall, this was a crazy Burlington squirt. I'm dumpster diving at the mall now, and there's a box here full of shoes. I don't know what store this is, but it looks like looks like all of these actually have shoes inside. They're a little bit dusty, but I'm gonna grab this whole box out. I don't know what store this is, it doesn't really say here, but I'm sure once I grab this box out, I might be able to kind of figure it out, but you can see there's a ton in there. Okay, I got the box and I'm having trouble fitting it inside my car. Security just pulled by, but they didn't stop, so I'm just going to get this in my car as soon as possible. So I'm double checking the dumpster and I think that it's called Suit Warehouse, I think that's where the store that I'm dumpster diving at. But there's another box and there's some more stuff in here. I see some more shoes. So I'm gonna grab these and double check. I think there's a few more boxes in there. I'm back home now. I have all of the shoes with me. There are so many. I think there's 15 pairs total, but they are brand new. They look like they're really nice too. They don't have any wear or tear to them. I'm gonna open them all up so you can see. Okay, here are all the shoes. I pulled them out of the boxes so you can see. There's a ton of different styles. They're definitely all men's. 
but they actually look like they're pretty nice like pretty good quality and they're all matching pairs so it's not like two pairs of left so i can't believe i found all these i have no idea why they would have thrown them away the boxes are super dusty so i think they were in the back somewhere but there are so many different styles this was my first time scoring at this dumpster so i'm definitely going to keep checking it it's in my mall and security is pretty strict but I think this is definitely worth double checking it for.